Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of January 2018. I want to wish you guys uh, the very best for this coming year, 2018. We are just kicking it off, starting off this new year. Intention is everything, so make sure to put uh, your intentions out there for what you're wanting to manifest for this 2018th, okay? So anyways, let's get into this reading. This is for Leos. Spirit, what are the messages for Leos? January 2018th. All right, let's see. What's going on with my Leos? <clears throat> your first card you have the eight of cups nine of swords two of wands the hierophant the knight of cups sorry the knight of wands the ten of cups the three of swords the full card the knight, sorry, the king of cups and the eight of wands. Current situation, uh, current energy surrounding you for the month of 2000, uh, sorry, January 2018. You have the six of wands. The six of wands is feeling victorious, uh, being able to move forward in a very positive, very focused type of energy for 2018. Okay, Leos. So the Six of Wands is here definitely. Um, it's a very quick, fast movement. It is talking about um, uh, returning or returning home. For some of you guys during the holidays and all of this, it's you returning back to your home. Perhaps some of you guys return to your motherland where you're from. Um, and this kind of recharged you or recharged your batteries. Uh, you're able to uh, detach yourself from the world for a little bit and ground yourself. But you're also coming back uh, and moving forward in 2018 uh, January for a very, very focused type of energy. This is you being very successful or being very focused on success. Okay. Now, you do have the eight of cups here and the eight of swords it's two eights so we're getting closer to the ending or the ending struggle of partnerships or the ending struggle of being single now you do have the eight of cups and the eight of cups is walking away from a situation that no longer served us uh the eight of swords walking away from something that there was stuckness so it could be that you felt um in regards to your business or in regards to your finances, where you work, the company you work for. Perhaps you felt that you were being a little bit suppressed, you were being a little bit overlooked, um, but you're definitely walking away from this type of stuckness type of energy and you're moving towards the two of wands. The two of wands is partnerships, but it also speaks about partnerships, not just in romance, it could be partnerships in regards to finances and into your business. Um, if for those of you guys that are entrepreneurs or that you run your own business, this could be you finding a person that is willing to invest in your company uh, but with the partnership and again it is something long term and it's something that's going to be stable for others of you it could be releasing yourself um, moving away from from a situation or a relationship that no longer worked out um, and it took you a little bit but I feel that after moving forward in in, in the positive uh, sorry, in in the present, you're moving forward away from that type of energy and you're walking towards a partnership. For some of you, Leos, you probably already met a person that you're dealing with. You may be dealing with a, um, you may be dealing with a, a Taurus. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with another fire sign, which would be a Leo like yourself, Sagittarius or an Aries. Or for others of you, you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be their sun, could be their moon or rising as well, or just the attributes of them. And again, like I said, um, this is a person that's definitely looking for something long term. Uh, this is a person that has the old values, has old uh, type of um, uh you know, they want marriage. <laughs> uh, this is a person that is looking for marriage or is looking for something long term and committed. Uh, this person is coming out of a, uh, you know, third party type of energy. Um, 
they've healed from that so it could represent that if they were in a long-term committed relationship in the past they were cheated on um, this could be your energy as well Leo as it is a general energy now you do have right at the center the ten of cups and the ten of cups is family dynamic uh, stability um, and emotional fulfillment or balancing of emotional fulfillment and right at the center for the month of January what's going to be very important for you is the family dynamic and how you deal with the family dynamic so it could be children um, if you do have children it could be that uh, you're getting to know this person or this person w comes into your life for some of you guys I feel the majority you've already met this person uh, this could be a person that you're currently talking to nonetheless for some of you guys it may represent a person that's coming through for the month of January and I feel that um, they're going to want to spend more quality time with you they're going to want to hang out uh, get to know you on a deeper level for those of you guys that have children perhaps uh, the ten of cups is here to represent um, you finding the balance between I guess for some of you guys that do have children and you're single, uh, it could be the fact that you are very, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? You could be very uh, critiquing of the person that you're dealing with because you don't want to expose your children to people that are going to be fate weather, people that are going to come in and out. And I feel that for the month of January, that's going to be very important to you. Uh, this person wanting to spend more quality time with you, more get to know you, again, like I said, on a deeper level. And I feel that for some of you guys, it may be a little bit scary. It may be a little bit tricky because you're not wanting to expose, again, like I said, uh, your children to people that are going to come in and walk out of your life. Uh, nonetheless, this is a person that, again, like I said, is looking for something that is long term. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, this is a very quick type of energy. Um, but next to the Ten of Cups, that is, this is definitely talking about a person that's very passionate about family and family dynamics. So the thing is here, if you're dealing with the person, uh, currently started dealing with the person and this person is telling you they're wanting something long term. Uh, and to you in back of your mind, you may be like, yeah, whatever. Everyone says that. Um, but this person is actually putting the effort to get to know you on a deeper level. Um, I feel that it is going to progress for the month of January going into, I want to say the second week uh, or third week of January, where you guys start to spend a lot of quality time together. And again, like I said, you'll come to understand that this person is very strong and very passionate about family. Uh, they have very close connections with family and family is very important to them. Uh, that's probably one of the um, attributes that you're going to be very attracted to in this person and again you do have the full card here the full card definitely represents a new beginning with this water sign and the eight of wands is the arrows of love um, but also very quick communication coming back and forth now for those of you that have been in a long-term committed relationship uh, perhaps there was a moment where you felt like there was no spark there was no passion in the relationship there was a stuckness a feeling of stuckness uh, but I do see progression in the month of January again like I said partnerships is going to be very important for you guys for this month and for 2018 um, and again like I said with the two of wands for some of you guys it could represent marriage now I do see the three of swords here but I feel that this three of swords is passive energy this is energy from the past so perhaps the person for those of you guys that are currently dealing with the person, uh, it could be uh, that this person is coming out of a, again, like I said, a hurtful type of energy where they were betrayed or their loyalty was betrayed. Nonetheless, for those of you guys that are married and have been uh, married for a very long time, committed relationship, I do see that there was someone that stepped out of the relationship, unfortunately, but I think this is something that you already know or you're already aware this could have been you, Leo. This could have been your partner. Nonetheless, you guys are trying to uh, regroup. You're trying to put effort or you're trying to fix this this brokenness. Um, and again, the Ten of Cups at the center. For some of you guys, it may be that you're trying to um, fix the relationship because there is children involved. Nonetheless, I do see progression and I do see a new start or a new beginning. Um, for some of you guys, the majority of you guys it's going to be in a positive outcome uh, for some of you guys there's going to be a need to actually release yourself and detach yourself from this energy so it could be if you're the type that is um i know it's very easy to say you know we're gonna let it go we're gonna move on from this um but if you cannot and i know everyone says like i could forgive but i can't forget 
the thing is when it comes to relationships if you're not able um if you're not able to forget in the sense of releasing what happened uh, or the hurt and the pain that you went through, if you can release that, then you're not going to be able to repace this. You're not going to be able to rebuild this relationship. Why? Because you're holding on to that. You're holding on to what was done. And of course, if the person took self-responsibility for it, um, then that's where the process begins of healing. But if you're not able to and you're very damaged by this again like i said every 15 minutes of constant bringing that up or throwing this in your partner's face is not going to help you in any any way okay and it may actually affect the relationship deeper than the cheating itself um why because you you know, again, like I said, the constant reminder of that cheating that was involved um, and your partner feeling like they have to put up with certain things because they deserve it because of what they did. But in the long in the long run, you know, in, in the long term, um, they become very resentful of, you know, whatever it is that you are currently uh whether it's embarrassing them or around family members and they don't say anything because they feel like they deserve it um or whether it's you belitt belittling them doubting them confronting them all the time uh, all of this is toxic energy and i don't see toxic uh, toxic uh, toxic uh cards in this in this reading itself nonetheless the three is present so again like i said the three of swords is a very hurtful type of energy but in order to rebuild this relationship you're going to have to release and let go of what was done in the past the past is the past and we need to move on from that um and again if you're not able to do that then it's best to walk away from the relationship because ultimately uh especially if there's kids involved ultimately the ones that deal with it uh and later you know have other type of blockages is the children so again try the best you can to be mindful about that um but anyways moving on again like i said i do see positive uh movement again like i said with the six of wands here and the eight very quick movement and communication in regards to being able to step up to the next level in regards to finances and business um and again for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while i do see partnerships and uh vibing to the same frequency of that person and that person vibing to your frequency as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading sending you guys light and love i wish you guys prosperity abundance growth and very much happiness for this 2018th okay we will see each other in the middle of the month Bye-bye.